do. I'll be damn. I'll be damn. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This never happens. This never happens. I have never found a key that was missing. It was in the... It was under here. It was right here. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another walk around. And if you remember, in a few videos back, I was trying to find a certain BMW X5 for my fiance. And we came looking around the whole yard, Monkey Wrench Mike and I, we couldn't find it. Well, we found it. Here it is. Let's take a look at it. So here she is. It's a 2008 BMW X5 with the 3.0 liter. That's right, the six cylinder. And uh, it supposedly has no key and it's a non-runner, obviously. It originally had no odometer. Now it shows 189. I'm really hopeful that there's a key in it because the buy it now on this is ridiculously cheap at $1,700. $1,700. There is some rear end damage. This is from a previous accident reported on Carfax several years ago, so that really doesn't bother me. I don't see anything too bad down here. It's got a tow hitch. I mean, you know, a few dings and stuff here and there. Nothing, nothing too crazy. A little bit of cracking and scuffing. Again, nothing I would be overly concerned about. Nothing that I think would have Jessica just not wanting to drive it. She's not that type of person, you know what I mean? Firestone destination on the front, Firestone destination on the back. This is a 3.0 SI. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I don't know what SI stands for. Um, hmm. It really doesn't have a key though, does it? Nope, it sure doesn't. I figured as much. I figured they weren't lying. Like if it had a key, they would tell you that it had a key. Uh, does them more good with a key, generally speaking, than it does without one. I don't know. Why would it not have a key though? You know what I mean? Like, why would it not have a key? It looks pretty good though, right? Jessica would like this. She would. She would. It's got decent tires. Can we open it? Probably not. Oh, yes we can. Oh, okay. That's a little crunchy, but yeah. All right. Everything still appears to work back here. You got D-rings for anchoring stuff down if you wanted to tie stuff down back here full-size spare tire all your emergency stuff right there including the uh the jack one thing that may be missing is the uh actual lug wrench yeah i don't know i don't know if the lug wrench is back here or not i don't see it i wonder if this will close itself wishful thinking right <laughs> no oh that sounds bad wow okay <laughs> those uh those struts would need to be replaced for sure i don't know guys i feel like there might be something just a little more wrong with this than just missing a key now that does make it interesting and i feel like it kind of makes it entertaining as well right no key we have no idea what could be wrong with it anything maybe nothing maybe maybe you go down to BMW, you get a key cut for it, and it runs and drives perfect with no errors, no warnings on the dash, nothing. That tire's a, that tire's a little, that's a little messed up. That's not the same kind of tire either. That's a Michelin. That's a different tire, and this one right here is a Firestone Destination. It's, it's okay. Uh, you can definitely see there's wear on the outside edges here. The inside's got a lot more tread than the outside does, so going to be an alignment issue as well. Take a look at the, at the rotors here. Those actually look to be in good shape. Look at that brake pad down there. That sucker got some meat on it, doesn't it? So it looks like she's recently had brake work done. PPF, you can see that line right there. That's paint protective film that somebody had installed at some point back in the day. Huh. Well, all right, here we go. We got a funnel. <laughs> so apparently it was needing, uh-oh, come back here. That's oil. So apparently she was needing oil regularly enough that they put a, uh, they put a funnel in here. That could be a little concerning. It's also missing the engine cover. Uh, let's take a look and see if she's got, does she have any coolant? She does, I don't know if you guys can see that, but 
She's got coolant. Yes, she does. Okay. Hey, <laughs> it's been, I'm not going to say all BMWs, but it's been my experience with Beamers. Nine times out of 10, there's a cooling problem. Nine times out of 10, when I find them out here, they don't have any coolant in them all. So the fact that it's got coolant in it, that's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Um, yeah, the cover is missing here. Boy, those look like they are a lot of fun to get to, don't they? Look back there, man. Yeah. Someone's been under here because none of this has been put back. That's all just hanging. Huh. I don't see an excessive amount of oil leaking anywhere. I was hoping that we had a dipstick. Unfortunately, this is going to be one of those that the computer tells you how much oil you've got. I don't know. She looks pretty good in there. Yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, well, well. What do you guys think? $1,700 is the buy it now. It's sitting at 12. I know you're probably thinking, well, and you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. I think the smarter move would be uh, not to buy it at all. But aside from that one, <laughs> the next smarter move would be maybe wait it out, go through the actual auction and see if we can get it any cheaper. The problem with that is since it's already sitting at $1,200, I got a feeling it's going to sell this time, guys. I really do. I got a feeling that they're gonna finally let it go because it has been sitting and sitting and sitting and nobody has won it yet. It's sitting at 12, they want 17. I think they'll let it go. I do. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This never happens. This never happens. I have never found a key that was missing. It was in the, it was under here. It was right here. Oh. Oh, dude. Bet. 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 <laughs> Are you serious right now? Okay, so. Forgive me, I'm a little excited. It doesn't get any more real than this, guys. <laughs> believe it's sitting right here the key is sitting right here i didn't even know that went any further i'm looking at it oh you know what there's a different cover there's a different cover for the cups i thought this was probably for the cups but i just i saw it and i was like it looks like there's room for something back there pushed it back the freaking key was in it okay so so let all right i'm gonna calm down Calm down. I'm getting excited. She's idling well. TPMS light, brake light. Why the brake light is on? I don't know. The brakes feel really good. Um, is there a way to wipe? Oh, whoa. No, 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 no. Stop that. Oh my God. No, stop, 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 stop. All of it, please. No. <laughs> I, I don't know how to turn it off now. Great. I think it's off. I think it's off. Okay, so let's start with some basics. Ice cold air conditioning. Yes. Idle is very good. It's idling perfect. We have a check engine light, not surprising. Tire pressure light again, not surprising. Brake light, but the brakes feel really good. Steering feels really good. My big question, which one do you hold down? Um, that's park. Isn't this supposed to shift gears? Uh-oh. Well, this could be the problem. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there was going to be something wrong. Park distance control does not work. That's fine. Seat calibration. Okay, it shows that we have one low tire, so the TPMS might actually work. The problem is this doesn't seem to work. 
that's park. This, don't you just push this to shift? Yeah. And I notice also there's an exclamation point right there by the park. Oh, we're in drive. We did it. Hold on. I don't, I don't know how I just did that, but it's in drive. Now reverse. We have a backup camera? No, backup camera is not functioning. It goes backwards. It goes forwards. And what about back in park? It's in park. Okay. Now it's shifting. Okay. Parking brake appears to work. Parking brake off. Guys. <laughs> Important window works. Jessica would love this. Jessica would absolutely love this. All right, so I've been sitting here playing with it for about 10 minutes or so. I, I don't know. And while it does have some concerning lights, it does seem to be in pretty good condition. The sunroofs work, open and close. The shade appears to be working properly as well. The radio, yeah, I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how to turn the radio on and I'm not quite sure how to work this iDrive system. Uh, you can click on, oh, there we go entertainment oh well that would explain it so fm okay 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 we've got a radio we have air conditioning next question for me is do we have heat it's been running long enough that we should have heat do the heated seats work because she loves heated seats let's give it a minute and then we're gonna go look under the hood I want to see if we're leaking profusely any oil. I'm going to let this kind of do its thing. While it's doing that, I'm going to roll that window down. I can't believe this thing's got a key. I cannot believe this has a key. Let's pop that hood so we can hear it run. I know it's not perfect and I know it's going to need some stuff, but I mean, guys, it's $1,700. Buy it now, which means we're probably looking at a uh, 2100 bucks out the door for an X5 with the right engine. This is the engine I want. Uh, I do see some, hold on. I see some oil leaking. Hold on. Can you see that down there? Let me see if I can clean that up for you. There we go. Now this appears to be a valve cover leak. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. We're going to check that out a little bit better. She's definitely smoking a little bit. You can see the oil down there. It's wet. That does look like it's a valve cover gasket, though. I hope. I could be wrong. But I think that's just a valve cover gasket leak. And you can see it's leaking pretty good back in the back there. Overall, in my opinion, that's not that big of a deal. Yeah. So a little bit of smoke and a little bit of oil. I've revved it up a little bit and now I'm going to take you underneath and we're going to we're going to have a peek under here and maybe we can see what all's going on. It looks like somebody really was taking care of this though. Okay, are you ready? What do you guys see? Because I can't see anything. I see a couple drips right there. I mean, honestly, if that's it. If that's it, just a couple drips of oil, I'll just tell her to, <laughs> you can't park it in the driveway. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I wonder if she would like it, man, I do. I'd hate to bite her not like it. It's missing this cover. Uh, on this side, but it does have the fog light. This will pop back in. 
it's really not too shabby guys what do you guys think should we get it or should we leave it here? So I said we we're gonna come back and we we're gonna check things out. Well, the heated seats work both sides very, very, very nicely. Uh, I'm turning those off. The heat is phenomenal. Air conditioning is great. The radio works great. The lights are functional. Signals. cracked windshield but we live down a long gravel road and we have a long gravel driveway so something like this this would be great somebody's got to tell me though what is the si for i'm tempted to bite the bullet on this one guys okay okay i'm sorry we've spent too much time on this one as it is let me turn this off. Let's pull up the app and let's see if it's still for sale. All right, guys, here it is. And I want you to see this for yourself. 2008 BMW X5 3.0i, although the body says SI, 189,000 miles. Ooh, salvage. That's weird that it would have a salvage title. The last accident was a long, long time ago. Interesting. All wheel drive. Keys, no. If you look towards the bottom, it says keys, no. No keys at all. Buy it now for $17.50. Should we do it? Let's go ahead and throw a bid on it. And let's see if we can win the bid. My goodness. Okay. So we are winning this at $1,400. Now the question is... Do we just buy it now and get it done and over with? Or do we wait for the auction and hope somebody doesn't buy it first? We got 20 hours left on it. 20 hours. I feel like we should just do it, guys. I feel like we should just do it. We're winning it at $1,400. It's $350. It's $350. I'm done. We did it. Oh, I got to enter my password. Hell, I don't remember my password. Hold on, guys. All right, purchase authorized, awarded, purchase successful. We did it. We did it. Now you're going to have to stay tuned for whether or not it makes it home. Let's see how much I owe on this now that it's done. Like 22, currently do not have, oh. Oh, wow. Are you serious? $2,400? Wow. Wow, 700 bucks on 1750. Okay, well, there it is. Well, one more time, now that we bought it and we actually own it. How does this key work? fires right up man it does obviously there's going to be content coming on this like uh does it drive is there something seriously wrong with it i have no idea it's willingly going into gear now so that's good and it goes into park i'll tell you this though i am taking this this is coming with me i bought it i'm going inside and i'm going to pay for it and then I get to record you guys a video on whether or not this thing actually runs and drives. Yeah, okay. Hot damn, I am excited. Next on my list, a 2006 Pontiac G6, baby. Douglas, non-runner too. Donation, I think, non-runner. Then we got a Prime Well. The body looks good, although I can tell it's been sitting a while. That, I don't know what that is. That's something else. Autobahn and a Goodyear Assurance. Okay, four mismatched tires. Panel gaps, worse than a Tesla. Yep, she has been sitting a minute. Yeah, ugh. <laughs> um, 
Let's let's just take a look. Let's give her a chance. Let's give her a chance. Oh boy. Yeah. Nope. Mm -mm. That uh, that don't smell good. Two hundred thousand miles on the clock. She's greasy. She's slimy. She's nasty. There's a big old hole in the dashboard. How did that happen? This is absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Well, it doesn't hurt to give her a chance, man. You know, if it goes for a few hundred bucks, it could be, it could be a great beater mobile for somebody. Oh, it's got the six banger. Oh, look at that. Spider webs. <laughs> She's been sitting a minute, guys. <laughs> She's been sitting a minute. But with that said, she's got coolant. It's hard to see, but it's it's down there. Does it have oil? It does. It has coolant. It has oil, and the oil doesn't look bad. It's actually a really nice golden color. She's got a 3 of 20 battery. Huh. Well, you know what that means. <laughs> I don't believe it doesn't run until I physically see for myself that it doesn't run. I just I just don't, guys. As you saw with the BMW. And yes, as I'm still walking around, I got that damn key in my pocket. Ain't nobody gonna get the opportunity to come out here and jack it. I don't know. Maybe the previous owner, whoever they were, a, a dealership, I don't I don't know. Uh dang it, it said. The title of that BMW had, well, you know what, we'll get into that in another video. We'll talk about that. The, the BMW is very interesting. I'm, I'm excited to share that with you. But maybe, maybe, you know, the dealership had hid the key to keep it from getting stolen and, and nobody could find where the dealership hid the key. And then the dealership probably assumed that someone stole it and they just said, screw it, they were done. Okay, well, so we got lights. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? It runs. This one runs too. Boy, we are, we are scoring today, guys. It goes into gear too? And it moves? Oh, God. Come on. Hey, does this one have a buy it now? Because I'll take it. It's not, it's not pretty. It's not. Oh, I'd probably take this. I could probably get this for nothing. I could probably get this for nothing and run it through IA and turn around and make a profit without doing anything to it. Uh, I mean, maybe give it a bath or something, you know, clean it up. Aside from that though, we'll see if we got any air conditioning. That is so bad. I'll be, it works. Wow, okay. What a little trooper. What a little trooper. Radio works. AC feels like she's getting cold. Did I test this window yet? I did. Works like a dream. Okay, so the tires don't match. Who cares? They've all got reasonable tread on them. Ugh, what's in the trunk? Oh, well, huh? Do we have mismatched wheels or something? Why would we have two extra wheels in the back? I don't understand that. Huh. <laughs> Is somebody running off the road and they just stuck a couple wheels on it and it's actually got... You know, like suspension damage or something? Two extra wheels, and they look to be in good shape. Why? Hold on. I'm not buying it. Maybe this side. Ah. Yeah. They cracked that sucker. They sure did. So I'm gonna guess that uh, <laughs> two of these wheels hit something good and hard. All right. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to sit this on the ground and I'm going to look at this one because I want to see how bad the damage is before I decide that I might, that I might possibly bid on this. Well, this one looks all right. 
this one looks all right. So I'm not sure what's going on there. That's got air in the tire too. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say that somebody hit something, but honestly, that damage doesn't look so bad that it would scare me from bidding on the car. And hell, it says it doesn't run. That means this car's gonna go for nothing. This car's gonna go for nothing. All right. Oops. You know, she's not a she's not a head turner. She's got some dings here, an even worse one there, man. This door handle obviously ain't gonna work anymore. That's pretty rough. Looks like she's had some front end collision stuff worked on before. Damn, she runs good though. Alternator's charging her right up. Diamond in the road. Well, I don't wanna call this a diamond. Yeah, I think calling this one a diamond may be going a little bit too far. That may be going a little bit too far. She's not a diamond, but she's not smoking. She's not rattling, ticking, knocking. AC is ridiculously cold. Hopefully we get a little bit of heat. Yes, we do. We got heat as well, guys. We got hot air, cold air. The important window works. She goes right into gear. And so far, there's no warning lights on the dash. None. Huh. Makes you wonder why it got sat here for. Let's rev it up. I mean, it's dirty. It's filthy. It really is. It's filthy. But man, sunroof works. I wonder if that window over there works. It does. Let's see if this door opens or if it's broken. Yep, yeah, it opens. Huh. Hot damn, man. You think she'll start back up? Nope, she won't. Well, it's gonna be our little secret, guys. Don't go telling anybody. And damn sure, don't be bidding against me on this. There's a lot number, just in case you decide to, right? 06 Pontiac G6 with decent tread on the tires. You know, the body's all right. You could fix that door enough. Like that dent, you could pop that out from the inside. Not perfect, but you could pop it out enough, put an outside door handle on it. That sucker gets you down the road, guys. She would. I don't I don't see anything about this car that makes me think there's something. It's not frothy, not milky. The oil looked good. Uh, we don't know about transmission. Could have transmission problems, I suppose. I don't see nothing leaking. Nothing. Nah. Okay, well. I tell you guys all the time, so why you come out here to look at these damn cars. They say they don't run. You put a jump on it, fires right up. What is this? Oh, uh, looks like she got some damage under there, huh? I almost missed it. Ooh, yeah. The fog light is hanging out of it. Oh, we need to throw that back up under there, I guess. There we go. Throw that under there. Throw that under there, too, and hopefully... Hopefully it all survives being transported up out of here, right? Still, it, it does concern me though. <laughs> Look at all this, like you can see this car sat for a long, long time and it does kind of concern me. But uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on the auction guys because if it don't go for much, you could bet I'm jumping on this one too. Next on my list, a Range Rover. I'm gonna bet this one was stolen. What do you guys think? Let me Let me double check my paper here and see if I see anything on it. No, it don't say. It just says minor dents and scratches with a value of about nine grand. Yeah, minor scratches. Mm. Someone, someone just keyed the living hell out of it is what they did. I mean, all down the side. That sucks. That sucks. Not even a hundred thousand miles on the odometer yet. Yeah, it's gonna be that supercharged. You know how I like these. You know how I like, oh, they keep both sides. Oh, all the way down to, damn. Oh, but that interior color, that is nice. That is a nice color. Headliner looks pretty good. 
Look good back there. Yep. She looks decent. She looks decent. I know it's sitting low, but give her a, give her a chance. She might just surprise you and air back up. This one's listed as a run and drive. Continental tire right there. Continental tire right there. This looks like something that was somebody's, somebody's baby. Oh, I think it was. What is that? What is that? Is this a cup holder? What the hell kind of cup holder is this? What the? Okay. All right. Ugh. Never mind. Maybe this wasn't somebody's baby. Ugh. What is that? Yeah. Maybe this wasn't. Maybe this wasn't somebody's baby, guys. Oh. I broke it. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to stretch to make it. Nope. That don't work neither. Got some of this gooey. Ugh. Lord. All right. I'm a. Uh, this doesn't even have a hundred thousand miles on. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> this is rough. This is a lot rougher than I thought it was. Another good reason for coming out here and looking. Number one, you might find some diamonds in the rough out here. You might just find some nice cars out here. Then again, you might. Oh, it's not supercharged. I lied to you. It's not supercharged. My bad, guys. I am sorry. I lied. Makes it a little less desirable for me. I like the. Uh, I like the most problematic ones. You know, I love the supercharged ones. Um. Yeah. Well. That's okay. We'll give her. We'll give her a shot anyway, guys. We'll give her a shot anyway. She might surprise us, but just looking at how nasty that interior is. It, 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 it leaves me doubtful <laughs> that this was somebody's baby. Yeah, they, uh... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. Let's see. Let's see if she starts. She does. Let's get that window down. Oh, wow. Let's turn that off. Uh, how do you set the uh, the ride height there? Hell, I don't know. I had one similar to this, but it wasn't quite like this, guys. Check brake pads, check coolant level. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we, we've been there before, haven't we? Hey, look at that. Look at that. Air suspension inactive. Uh-oh. ABS. Brake light. Oh. The air suspension is working. Out of nowhere. Oh. Okay, it says air suspension in... Whoa. Holy crap. What is going on here? It says air suspension inactive, but boy, she's popping and jumping and jerking. Look at that. Look at that. That's come up. The front, however... Well, I can't tell if it's moving or not. It is, very slowly. Yeah, she's coming up. There she goes. Well, I'll be, I'll be a son of a gun. She got a little tap to her. Ooh, we got quite a bit of tapping going on under there. Alternator is charging. That's good. We'll turn this off. We don't need it anymore. She's running on her own. Get this out of the way. We can close this. Oh, yeah. She came up. Look at that. That tapping bothers me. And the fact it's low on coolant also bothers me. I'm telling you. Jags. Ranges, Land Rovers, low coolant. Very concerning. Why was somebody back here? Uh, somebody's, somebody's been up in here. What is that noise? Oh, the air compressor. Okay, it's the air compressor. She's, she's doing her thing. I guess she wasn't done airing up. Oh, no, she wasn't done airing up, was she? Good Lord, girl. How are you going to go? Wow. Well, that answers that. Air suspension works. 
but it says that it's inactive. That's funny. That's funny. It's literally right there on the dash. It says it's inactive, but it just came to life. She's got no fuel, none. Well, I mean, it is inactive because you can't, it doesn't do anything. You can push it and it, it doesn't do anything. It's like, it's in some kind of a default mode, I guess. Hell, I don't know. Is it going to gear? Yeah. Goes backwards. Goes forwards. Tell me not to buy this, guys. Tell me, tell me right now not to buy this, please. Ooh. That just doesn't sound healthy. Lots of tapping under the hood. Nah. Nope. You know, I'm, I'm feeling good about buying stuff, guys. I am. I'm, I'm really, I'm really feeling like buying stuff. Dead as a door now. But I'll tell you right now, this one ain't it. No. I mean, I'm glad that it came up in the air and everything. I'm glad that it runs. I'm just not feeling it, guys. Moving on. Last one on my list today. 2016 Honda Civic, guys. And <laughs> look how thick the dust is out here. It's bad. It's bad out here, guys. Uh, somebody obviously wanted to see how bad the hail damage was. The problem is this dust is so thick that it will fill in the dings and it makes the car look like there's no hail damage at all but as soon as you take it and spray it off you wash it well you're gonna be pleasant well you're gonna be unpleasantly surprised at the amount of damage now for me this one isn't one that i'd be too upset about driving guys the hail damage it does have quite a bit it's just not that bad it's not significant enough for me to to get really upset about it hopefully you can see some of it it's all very small hail damage She's a good looking car. It's got some Geo Tour tires and a prime well on the front. Yeah, another another car with mismatched tires. Yeah, a Geo Tour. Okay. So there you can kind of see the damage, right? She she's definitely got some damage. But again, in in my opinion, it's not bad enough that I'd be like, no, I wouldn't drive this car. I'd drive it. I'd drive it. She looks pretty good. See what the back end looks like here. Very nice. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. I like this one. That means we're going to start it up. Oh, I'm covered in dust. Goodness. Oh, she's got power too? No. Yes, it does. All right, the radio works. Let the sun shine in. Let the sun shine. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can see. Man, that's nice. We got a little wrench down there. I don't know what that means. Maybe an oil change or something, huh? Uh, turn on that AC. All right. See if it goes into reverse. Why, yes, it does. And it's even got a tiny little backup camera there. Yep, backwards, forwards. Should we pop the hood? Does the important window work? Uh, it does. It does. And somebody was servicing it at Honda at the dealership, guys. How many miles is on this? We need to. How do we. Oops, is that it? No, that's not it. Maybe it's this button over here. There we go. She has 82,000 miles on the odometer. Air conditioning is nice and cold, so we're going to go ahead and just, we're going to turn that off. We're going to turn that off. I don't need air conditioning. It, the temperature's already dropping out here quickly. This is going to be my last car uh, for today's video, and I'm going to get up out of here. Yeah, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a good one, guys. But I didn't have to tell you that, right? It's a newer Honda. Of course, it's gonna be a good car. Listen to her purr like a kitten, man. 
man. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. I like it. This is a hatchback, right? Or does it have a trunk? No, it's got a trunk. It's not a hatch. Sorry, guys. I'm not... Where's the button? Is there no button? Nope. There is no button. I want to see the trunk. I like looking at the trunk. You never know what you're going to find back there. Lots of buttons, traction. Where's, where's the... Where's the... Huh? Can we just push this one? No? Can we shut it off? And then maybe push the... There we go. There we go. I really thought this was a hatch, guys. Yeah, oh wow. No, it's definitely not a hatch. Look at all the trunk space. Are you serious? Wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm very surprised as to how big the trunk is in this Honda. That's, that's crazy. Guys, this is a good one right here. This is a good one. Yeah, she's hail damaged. I mean, you can, you can see it. It's, it's noticeable for sure, but man, it's a good little car. This thing's gonna last a long time. It'll get you around for a long time. Minimal cost to operate it. Great little car. That's it. We're done. So I'm gonna get up out of here, but I wanna thank each and every one of you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, well, hit the thumbs up button, share the video with your friends. I truly appreciate it. And drop those comments down below. Stay safe out there, buddy. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. In the next one.